Good feathers. There's one. Oh my god, it's a fish. There's another one. Guys, we're back with another cringy video. I woke up this morning, spun a wheel, and it landed on the Delta, so it's where we're at. It's kind of just an exploring day. I mean, I didn't plan on coming here. I thought I was gonna go fish somewhere else, but the wheel decided to choose the Delta. That being said, I am exploring some new water. I checked the weather and they said winds were supposed to be six miles an hour today, and uh, the good old weatherman decided to lie again. Shocker and it's about 13 right now we got white caps and i'm in my new river boat and uh she does not handle rough water very well compared to my previous river boat or the bass boat but got a variety of things tied on typical delta stuff chatterbait crankbait frog punch texas rig drop shot and of course a cinco water is uh, pretty dirty so might stick with this chatterbait for a while. Water temp is currently 53 and a half, which I was kind of hoping for, you know, 55 or something, but beggars can't be choosers, I guess. See if we could pick up some fish. Not gonna be not gonna be too too picky on size right now. Any fish right now is a fish. I know the Delta's, well, it was rough yesterday for the bat the tournament that I was out here, but the Wild West did pretty decent out here, so or MLF, whatever which one it was. So, his dirty water fishing sucks. Let's see if we can make a miracle happen. Dirty water, we're gonna go with a uh, black and brown swirl. Really don't think slowing down is the way to go. I think it's fucking power fish, power fish, power fish. Find the active ones eating. Smells like shit. You would think these fish would, with how much current and cold water is moving right now, you would think these fish would want to pull off into these little back pockets to get out of that stuff, but yet still be close enough to moving water where food's still going to come to them. I ain't giving up hope. I'm gonna figure something out. Water's dirty, I know what I have to throw, but I really don't wanna start throwing it right now. Really good feathers. There's one. Right where I told you guys, these fish should be up and out of the current, but yet still close to the area where they should be able to feed. Grant, this isn't a very big fish, but it's a nice one to start the day off with. Absolutely choked the chat the chatterbait too. Not a bad first fish, I'll take it. So what this is right here, guys, hopefully you guys can hear me. I know this wind is absolutely roaring, but as you can tell, we've got sparse tulies and even sparser tulies. And this current is coming around this bend right here and pushing through, and the wind's kind of coming through here and it's kind of creating the swirling motion. And that fish was in the back area, up in there, right where a fish technically should be to get out of the current and have the ability to also f continuously feed. Oh 
Oh my God, it's a fish. Ripping the chatterbait. I can't tell if it's a bass or a striper. What are we working with? Oh, it's a striper. Darn it. He came up and jumped like a largemouth. That was crazy. Don't get that too many times. But I'm not going to complain with that. I wonder if those striper are pushed up right now in that grass kind of lining the, the edge because this edge dropped off into like 21 feet of water. This is what's so fun about the Delta, just exploring new bodies, new areas. I mean, these fish should be setting up over up in this proximity. I was hoping that I could kind of squeeze my way up in here, cast up and over these tulies, so I don't have to run the risk of hitting those rocks going, trying to go through these openings. That's a nice one. Oh, don't do that. There we go. That fish came on a little bit of the grass. He was kind of here by that opening. And he just choked it. There's another one. Oh, this one's fighting good. Is this a striper? This one might be a striper. Oh, it is. <laughs> Not to complain though. It'd be nice if they're all loaded right there which is kind of weird. It's almost like they're set, oh, you know what? It's because they're setting up on the side of it. They're not setting straight out. We have current coming through these openings and then coming right through here. You can see by the foam right there. And these fish are setting up straight in line with the foam. That explains why they're not wanting to hit straight ahead at them. I don't want to make big long casts and catch a fish all the way down there and have the opportunity where I could have caught one or two right here. So there's a time and place for long casts. I'm thinking not right now. This feels funky. It's taking me out to Oh, that's a tank. Well, I wouldn't say necessarily a tank, it's a good fish. Maybe five, that's, a, that's gonna be a hard maybe. Mm, not for much out, don't oh, barely hook too. There we go. There's a nice one. There we go. Mm, I don't think she's five. But she came flopping out of the water. Thought it was. At first when it hit it, it swung. It was having me on the backside of a rock. And it gave me some really weird head shakes, almost like a catfish or a squawfish. And it just started taking me out to deeper water. I was like, uh-oh. And 357, but it looks a little bit bigger to me but I'll take it. That looks about right. When it came flying out of the water, it looked a hell of a lot bigger.
Oh, he came off. That thing absolutely hammered it. That definitely felt like a striper, though. That one definitely felt like a striper. Freaking hammered it and just all of a sudden just started freaking flopping around. Oh, it is a fish. I don't know how big is he? He's running at me. I'm assuming he's not very big. Oh. Pfft. Nice. Little striper. There's one. Another striper, really interesting. Hmm. It's an interesting place for a striper to be in. Three and a half feet of water. Oh, good. It's, really? Another striper. Popped it right out of that grass and just absolutely hammered it like you would expect a, a good, nice size Delta 3, 4 pounder. Pop it out of the grass. Thunk. So if you guys could do me an absolute huge, huge favor is uh, do what you guys did last year and uh, throw me out some ideas on where you want this channel to go this year. Last year, you guys told me to beat the crap out of the Delta, and that's exactly what I did. A lot of my content last year was on the Delta, and I really enjoyed it. Uh, that's probably the most I fished the Delta in a year. And above all, I got to figure out the Delta. You got a lot of fish in a bunch of different places. I got to catch a lot of big fish last year. So that was really, really fun for me. I know you guys enjoyed it because, well, it's the Delta. So if you guys can, leave some comments. You know, if you guys want another year of just, you know, beating the crap out of the Delta, and uh, it's waterways. I will gladly do that again. And if you guys want to see some other stuff, uh, like travel, I'll do my best to throw in some traveling videos like Berryessa, Clear Lake, Trinity, you know, just places that I normally don't really get to fish all the time. Uh, I could do that. Or if you guys say, you know, we want a year of the mother load where, uh, you know, I post a lot of stuff on the mother load via Pedro, uh, McClure, Maloney's, uh, Party, Comanche, you know, those kind of lakes. Not all those are mud loads, but you guys get the gist of what I'm saying. So, like I've always told you guys from the very first of the beginning, I do this strictly just for fun. And I do this to bring enjoyment to others. Some people, you know, have $100,000 Ranger bass boats and watch my videos for the enjoyment. Um, and then some people, you know, are bank fishermen looking for tips. Some are in a little aluminum boats like we all started off in. And they're looking for tips and just entertainment. And that's really what I wanted to do. So I'll leave it up to you guys. You guys run this. I'm just the dude that does all the work. And I will see you guys the next episode.